Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, my voice might sound a little funny. Guess what? I'm ill again for the second week in a row. So, my throat's not feeling too great. And we're back to square one. Anyway, today we're going to take a look at getting Plex working on the pocket chip. Now, I don't have a Plex account, so sadly I won't be able to log in. But, if you have a Plex account and you have a paid subscription, then this should sort you out for Plex on your pocket chip. First things first, you're going to want to do... Um, what I did a couple of weeks ago is install Kodi. I will link that video down in the description below or annotate it on screen now. So please do click that if you haven't done so already. And you need to download a zip file which will also be linked and whack it onto a USB stick. Secondly, you're going to want to go into the terminal and you're going to want to type in Kodi. So, like so. Bish bash bosh. And Kodi should load up. Whack in your USB stick, and hopefully we should be able to do it from the USB stick, but if not, we may have to copy the files over from the stick, and then do it straight from the device. But actually, after a few seconds, Cody loads up, and for some reason, that doesn't look pushed in right, there we go. And once Cody loads up, we're going to want to go into System, and we're going to want to go into Settings, and we're going to go into Add-ons. And then we're going to want to go into uh, OK, whatever. Remember, we can use touchscreen or we can use the arrow keys. We're going to want to go to install from zip file. Now, we can only hope that our zip file comes up somewhere. Um, but it's quite possible that nothing will come up like you see now. So, if we go to the home folder, you can see that we should have stuff here. Um, we should be able to see it from here. Sometimes it's in media, sometimes it's in different places, but sometimes your USB stick will not show up at all. If this is the case, then we simply want to go back here, back to browse files. Once you've clicked on browse files, we want to go to the 4.2 gigabyte volume, which is down the left hand side. And we want to go on to where that zip file is, which is the only one here, which is ZQ. We want to highlight it and then copy it. If we can like, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to hold the screen. We should be able to drag and drop like so. Uh, but we can also do this file, I think we can go to, uh, if we hold down control C we should be able to copy the folder just like on a PC. And then go to desktop, go to home folder and then paste it in here maybe. And uh, overwrite. And it should be now in the home folder. And it's just done. I am sucking on a sweep, by the way, if you can hear it, I'm so, I apologise. Right, so now that that's done, we know that's there, we can then press Control tab and we should be able to go back into Kodi. So if we press Control tab there we go. Uh, we come back out of here, we go to Install from zip file again. And then, it should show up here. Uh, I don't think that's it, but let's click on that. Okay, it actually showed up at the top now as 2984 yada yada yada. So that may happen to you as well. And if we go down, script plex zip is right here. So I copied the wrong folder anyway, I think. I'm not sure, maybe I didn't, I don't know. And once we've done that, we can uh, install from a repository. It doesn't come up because I don't think it is a repository. You know, it's just a script. But Plex is now enabled, so we should be able to go back to videos, to add-ons, and we should be able to see Plex. And when we click on Plex, take a while to load up. Okay. Plex. Okay. 
Okay, I'm not sure what's kind of happening here. If you click on Exodus, it actually loads up. But I think we do possibly need to go into... Ah, there we go. So after clicking it for a billion times, Plex loads up. Now you will need an account, because I don't think you can actually watch the free stuff yet. This is currently in like a alpha stage, if you will, and eventually it will come into beta phase uh, once that's all been ironed out. But because I've clicked on it so many times now, and didn't wait because I'm impatient, it's going to do this about 50 million times before we get to a login screen. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you didn't hit the dislike button, this is how you get Plex on the pocket chip currently. If uh, a new way comes up, then I will get that on here and show you guys. But hopefully this video helps you out if you are a Plex user and you want to watch it on your pocket chip. Like I said, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't hit the dislike button, please stay tuned for the giveaway that's happening on my channel. As we've only got a couple days left, and then I'll be announcing the winner. So... If you want to head over there, that will be linked below as well. And I shall see you soon. Cheers.